Good morning, guys. I wanted to share with you some of my completed pages, coloring pages, from 2019 through 2022 so far. And I do have some other ones that I can make in a part two. So this one, first page is done in Crayola Twistable Crayons. And it has beautiful floral. It was pretty easy to do the detail work on this one because the crayons were new. The next one is done in Crayola Super Tip Markers. And I really like how the vines look in this one. The next couple will be the Crayola Super Tips as well. This one reminded me of water lilies, but also fireworks at the same time. This one's very groovy looking, and I was really pleased that I didn't leave any white spaces and I was able to fill in the background as well. This one took forever. It took me three different sets, um, coloring sets to finish. Next, we have this one. My favorite part is the light blue in the middle that makes it look like ice. That was an interesting color combination in the background with the yellow, orange, light blue, and red. It contrasts the middle section design. Then there's this one with lots of flowers. And this one. Most of my coloring books are from Creative Haven because that's my favorite company of coloring books. But some have been other um, works as well. I love this dragonfly one. Now these next couple of ones are gonna be done with the Crayola signature brush tips markers, and I call them my fancy markers. And the interesting thing is, is they're very vibrant, almost as like a Sharpie. And because of that, they bleed through on the back a lot, but you don't see the black outline. So it looks like a double picture. I love the colors on this one and the idea that it's painting. It's super fun to do. I did this one in one sitting. This is one of my favorites. It's one of the backgrounds I set on my phone. I like how the yellow dot in the middle kind of looks like it's deep in the picture and it's like a cave going down deeper and deeper. This one is all purple because I have, was adopting a rescue cat from an animal shelter and her name is Lilac. So I made this on the day that I got her. And in fact, I can show you a, a video of her right there. The next set are going to be done with colored pencil. I like how the blue is shaded on that top right one, but I also like the purple one on the bottom right. This one's a very cute one with teacups because I love tea, particularly green tea, but I am doing the dollar tea leaf, dollar tea subscription plan. It's my second year going through it, so I enjoy tea a lot to de-stress as I'm coloring. 
This one's very detailed, especially the bottom left hexagon or octagon. I did every single little section a different color. A very simple one with bright colors. And those are color pencils. And then Mandela, Snowflake Mandela. Another simple one. I thought the white would look nice. I intentionally left them that way. And this one, I love blue and I love cats. And I have some furniture and storage that is blue. And I made the cat to look like my first pet, Moppet, but she passed away in 2020. And then I adopted Lilac. And the cat ended up looking more like Lilac. But it's inspired by Moppet. And this is the last picture, I believe. Yes. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Bye.